We're here at Beyond 2015, the Global Youth Summit in Costa Rica, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ambassador Daniel Sepulveda, who is United States Coordinator for International Communications and Information Policy. Ambassador Sepulveda, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. We're here at the Global Youth Summit, which is an incredible event which has uh, attracted young people from around the globe. I wanted to find out uh, about your participation here and your presence here. Yes. Um, as you pointed out, I am the Ambassador for Communications and Information Policy, so my responsibility is to go before the United Nations and other international multilateral bodies and talk about communications policy and what it can do to help elevate opportunities in the world for everyone, including young people. And this is a, a unique event in which we're celebrating the platform as a tool for development and as a tool that young leaders can use to promote positive messages and, and positive end goals. Now, apart from the participants here in Costa Rica, there are all sorts of young people who are, are tweeting around the globe here. Uh, I wanted to find out about uh, your, your perspective, uh, your global perspective on, uh, on youth and, uh, and what are the main challenges that you see at the moment. Well, there are, bil there are billions of people who can access the internet right now, um, somewhere close to 2.7, 2.8 billion people, but that leaves billions of people who are not able to access the internet. So in one sense, there are a couple of different divides that we're trying to close. One is the digital divide itself to ensure that we get the platform out to everyone. And two is once the platform is made accessible to people, to celebrate and champion those who are using it as a tool to enable other things. And the most important among those for young people around the world right now is, is the, the challenge of decreasing youth unemployment, or better said, of creating entrepreneurship and creating innovation and sparking new job creation that can help people both express themselves and create new jobs, services, goods, uh, those sorts of things. And from what you've been hearing here at uh, the summit, uh, uh, are there lots of interesting ideas that uh, are being uh, being shared and there are and they're in multiple different spaces so there are people talking about how you can use the information communications technology platform which is a global platform to increase access to education there are people who are talking about specifically in the fields of computer science how you can get teach young people the skill of coding which is like a language and it can be like a universal language that if you have people creating in multiple parts of the world and using the open platform uh, and free to innovate, free to express themselves, free to associate with each other, free to access information in a way that's historically been impossible. It's truly an exciting time and, uh, and I'm really glad that the ITU has come together to celebrate that and to highlight people who are, who are doing good things. Now the United States uh, has got a, 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 a comparatively young president. Uh, it, uh, it seems to uh, have uh, a lot of uh, uh, empathy and a lot of uh, time for, for, for young people. You're, you're putting a lot of emphasis on it yourself and, uh, and, and a lot of importance by being here and taking the time to come here. Yes, I, I actually had the opportunity to have gotten to know the president before, long before he became president in the United States Senate, I worked for him as an aide there. And I also got to know the, the First Lady, Michelle Obama, who has been working very specifically on something called the Let's Move initiative. And what she's trying to do is to encourage young people, kids, and particularly kids that are, don't have exposure to nutritional foods or are living in urban communities where they don't have access to, to farms or fresh food, on how to live healthy lives, how to access nutritional food, how to exercise, and she's, she's used the platform, she and her team have used the platform to get people excited about it and, and get people moving in the right direction and get informed. Particularly, we worry a lot about our kids, particularly those kids that are maybe eating too much fast food or not getting enough time to exercise because they're, they're either in school or their parents are working too hard to get them out. Um, so that, that's been a big focus for her and her using the tool and the platform has been an inspiration for all of us as well. Finally, uh, you attend a lot of these events on a regular basis. Uh, just really wanted to, to, to ask you, what do you think will make this event uh, special for you? Well, the event, this particular event is special for me because it's not special that I'm here. It's special that the kids are here, right? Most of our ITU events are centered on the government and centered on government officials and how smart we are and our big ideas. But this is really about young people who are creating without anyone having prodded them to do so. They're out there doing their thing, being entrepreneurial, being innovative, not asking for thanks, but we're here to celebrate them. We're here to try to build on their success, connect young people to each other so that this next generation of leaders can work to make the world a better place. And, and that's a very happy event for us. 
Ambassador Sepulveda, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, sir.